absolutely. Now, there's a lovely shot we have, and that's from Morris, our sideline cameraman. He's an Afina man as well, so he's extra enthusiasm, shall we say, tonight. But that's a lovely shot there. And that man bringing the flag out is Eamon Kelly from the St. Mark's Club. And behind that is Cathy Walsh there waving to the crowd. They won the first intermediate, and I didn't even realise that was the first year. It didn't start until then, but that was the first year of it, and they won it. So the players being introduced to the crowd here tonight, being honoured tonight exactly 30 years on. And you're maybe thinking there's not that many players out there, but it was actually 12 aside Camogie in those days, and that was the last year of 12 aside. And Cathy Walsh, we interviewed before the game, she's standing beside Eamon Kelly, who has the flag, and Eamon was a member of the backroom team and also in the backroom team you had Judy Doyle, Mary Matthews and Dr Heidi Lee. So the players having their moment now 30 years later, they did beat down up in Ballygalgate actually on the Ards Peninsula in County Down and they were seven points down Dennis with 10 minutes to go. They scored four goals in the last 10 minutes. Two of them were actually from Geraldine Dunn who's out there and apparently she threw off her helmet and in those days you could do that and she just lost the head and lost the helmet and yeah. fired in two goals and the other two were from the only player who's not with us anymore and that's Louise Lynch so they finished in an absolute flourish and won that and that was a memorable day for them so it's great to see them out here tonight and being honoured here tonight do you know any of them Dennis? Oh I, I would I, I played all my hurling with Crumlin and we have uh, two or three players there from Crumlin Cathy and Ruth and uh, Cathy Walsh Ruth and, and Catherine Boyle uh, would all be stalwarts in Crumlin now uh, Louise Lynch uh, God rest her, uh, played, I, I would have managed teams against Louise and she played on well into her and was a great warrior, great warrior and played very well. Uh, <laughs> no, a good team. <laughs> That's what you call enjoying your moment. Yeah. She really did, fair play. The goalkeeper was actually Louise Curry from St Monica's, a lot of them were St Monica's and she won an All-Ireland Senior with Galway in 1996 and they also have Colette Murphy from Nafiana, Catherine Boyle from St Monica's Four, Cathy Walsh from Crumlin, the captain. Miriam, Mulli Miriam Mulligan from Good Council. Ruth Lyons from Crumlin. Mary Joanne Duan from Erin's Isle. Geraldine Dunn, St. Monica's. Where was St. Monica's? St. Monica's is out um, uh, north side, out around uh, Donamead, that direction. Um, Not and, far away. Uh, yeah, and a lot of those players would have, would have moved uh, to other clubs. St. Monica's didn't survive as a, as a Camogie club. Well, they're going to have a parade as well, and they've, they've got the pipes and everything. Yeah. They're really doing it the right way, and they're being honoured in style here tonight, and why, why not? There was also Christine Lester from St. Monica's, Patricia Finneran from Bowden, and Grace O'Neill also from Bowden, and Regina Birmingham, good counsel, Audrey Maguire, St. Mark, Karen McCabe, St. Monica's, Catherine Dunn, St. Monica's, Sive Henderson from Nafina, and Paula Carroll from Nave Mernog. Brilliant occasion and deepest sympathies to St. Vincent's, all the GA community to hear of Brian Mullins too. It's a sad occasion, but we have a player ourselves, Louise Lynch, who was on our team. And like today, we're all going to be out here tonight walking on the pitch and we'll have it in our hearts. So we'll go and enjoy and have a bit of fun. Enjoy this great occasion of a county final, our club final. So. And wouldn't you be loved to pass that message on to the younger generation here today, what it's all about, and you got to enjoy it. I mean, Louise Lynch scored two goals right at the end of that game to win that All-Ireland for you. We were seven points down with, I say, four or five minutes to go, not even that, and Louise and Jared Dunn scored. Louise scored a winning goal, more or less, for us in the last few minutes. So, fantastic occasion to win a match like that, but super and like we have friendship lasting 30 40 years and hopefully all the kids here today will turn around and will will have that friendship and the community spirit that goes along with playing with your club and county